Back on the trail with Harley, my Kiwi doppelganger, we have a few more miles to hike to reach our sea kayaks, and the next phase of our Abel Tasman adventure. Although I was feeling some nerves this morning about the kayaking that lies ahead, they're all but gone now as I soak in the spectacular countryside we're passing through. Just had a super cool moment here on the trail. We just landed down here on the beach, and as soon as we did, we saw all these uh, splashing uh, dolphins swimming off the coast. So Harley and I jumped in the water to swim out there, and then the dolphins just swam right up to us. I had one dolphin literally pass just like four feet away from me. You go underwater, you can hear them pinging. Uh, it was, I've never had anything happen like that before. So that was just a wild experience. Just seeing dolphins out there, so cool. Living in the desert, sea kayaking is a new experience for me. But Harley is an excellent guide and quickly gets me sorted out. Although I love hiking, the change of transportation is welcome. It's nice to get the arms pumping and the different perspective of the park is amazing. With all the different bays and inlets along the Abel Tasman coastline, there's so much to explore. Unfortunately, our time is limited today because a weather system is bearing down upon us. As the wind continues to pick up, we're forced to take refuge on the Aquapackers Floating Lodge, where we'll be spending the night. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Good to be here. It's getting a little wet out there. Woo! Well, this should be fun. We're sleeping on a boat tonight. Kayaked out, and uh, this will be the first uh, camping I'll ever do on a three-story boat. Should be fun. My excitement about spending a night on the water is dampened as the storm takes a turn for the worse. It gets so bad in the middle of the night that the boat is pulled from its moorings, forcing the captain to ask that we put on our life vests, stay on deck, and be alert and ready for more direction. Tomorrow, it is going to be better than right now. <laughs> um, it's turning around. It's going to be coming around more from the west than from the north, so that makes sense more on a sheltered coastline. It's looking like only patchy cloud. Water's going to be murky, but the sea should come right down again pretty quickly. Okay. Despite a sleepless night on the water, Morning brings clear skies and light winds, and I'm excited to be in the kayak once again. Uh, kayaking in the Evil Tasman is pretty stellar. We just had a major storm blow through last night. Uh, made for quite the adventurous evening. Uh, unfortunately, it's kicked up a bit of the sediment and stuff in the water, but it's just gorgeous here. Got blue skies. Harley's taking me to some amazing, beautiful coves and inlets, and. It's just a spectacular way to spend the day. Loving it. After paddling the last eight miles of the park's coastline, we arrive in Metahau at the end of our Abel Tasman journey. It's been an unbelievably beautiful and exciting place to explore. And it's easy to see why the Abel Tasman Coast Track is recognized as one of the 10 great walks of New Zealand. For me, the trip has been a truly epic experience, even though it only involved a small corner of this amazing country. <laughs> 